I'm Emily Gale. I'm Amanda Gale. And, and this, this is our bold, bold story. We live together, work together. We do uh, everything we together. We hang out together. We hang out together. We have same fr best friends. We're co-parents to our dog together. Yes. So yes, we And our cats. And, and we have cats. Can't forget about the cats. Yes. We have two cats We do a, a lot dog. together. Yes. We didn't grow up in a fishing family, although we were raised in Florida, and the two of us would see other kids fishing, it would be on the dock, and we'd say, well, all these other kids are fishing, I wanna give it a try. And our big request for our 13th birthday present was to go offshore fishing. We wanted to book a charter and go offshore fishing. It wasn't just a request to go fishing, it was a request to go fishing, and we wanted the captain to teach us how to fish and that's something you don't really see very often in the charter fishing industry. A lot of times it's all about getting the fish in the boat and it was just a good experience for us because we were actually able to make our own mistakes and learn from it. And I would say that was like a recreational hobby of ours for quite some time and then it wasn't until we were in college that we decided to start working on a fishing boat. By our junior year we kind of realized that this was not the path we wanted to take and that was when we started kind of getting burnt out. So that was when we decided the summer before our senior year, we needed to do something fun. And we got a job on a sport fish. And at the time, we thought it was gonna be a fun summer and it has snowballed literally into us being here today. Next thing we knew, we were flying to the Bahamas pretty much every other week for a few months. We worked on all different kinds of boats with different kinds of captains and learned a lot. As our knowledge grew, we start to feel like we wanted to do things differently. Even though multiple people had already said it to us, mm -hmm. in that moment, it was just the light bulb went off. Maybe we should start our own business. So, so we, we did. did. Taking kids out, taking families out, really teaching them to catch their first yellowtail snapper. Focusing on the whole experience and that one snapper or that one mahi or the family getting a nice dinner together after a day on the water. It was about the experience and we had learned that that's what we wanted to offer to people that wanted to come out and fish. If they wanted to learn, we were happy to teach and if they just wanted to have a good time, we were happy to give them that too. Honeymoon Harbor. Okay, I was gonna say welcome to today's video, but today's video we are at Honeymoon, Honeymoon Harbor. At this point, we have transitioned into full-time creating content, running fishing charters and taking families out as much as we loved it and that has shaped us and kind of created the path for us to do what we do now. We love that we can reach so many people and I just think that that's priceless. The name of our show is Gale Force Twins. We film it, we produce it, and it goes up on pretty much all social media platforms. And our goal is to educate, explain, and entertain with every episode we film. But we always wanted to keep the content adventurous and entertaining and fun to watch, even if it was extremely educational or just little pieces of education. And it was actually a viewer that commented and said, every one of your episodes educates, explains, and entertains. And I read it. And I was like, wow, this is what we do. <laughs> that, that is exactly what we do. We're always going to be teaching and sharing. We are not believers of keeping secrets because we think that everybody should be able to get out there and target some fish. A few things that have made us better fishermen, captains, and anglers have been time on the water. Time, time on the water, and listening to other people. I think that when somebody talks about a fishing story or how they like to catch something, the best thing to do is take it as information, but at the same time, everybody believes that their way to catch a fish is the only way to catch a fish, so the best thing to do is take everybody's information, whether it's an internet article, a YouTube video, a captain you're talking to, and figure out what works for you, because if it works for you, then you must have done something right. The item we chose to bring is a pin that says grit on it. Not just one time, four, four times. times. It came with us every day that we were working on charter boats and our own charter boat. And every morning, getting up at 4 a.m. and grabbing the bag and seeing the pin that says grit was just always a reminder, show up, have grit, and keep doing what you're doing. The fishing industry, if you really want to make it, it is hardcore. 
It's there is nothing cushy about it. And the fact that it just says grit on it four times, I think really describes what you need to have to succeed. Show up every day, whether it's a tough day, a good day, a bad day, an amazing day. You just gotta show up. We're always thinking, where's the future? What's the future? And having that mindset of show up every day, follow the breadcrumbs, you will find your place and where you're meant to be in life. And I feel like we have definitely done that.